This video covers objects, points, edges, faces and the manipulator and how you manipulate all of your objects and their components. So we'll start off with creating uh, a basic cube. So any object in, in 3D in silo is composed of component parts. So you can see here we've got a cube and it's made up of a number of components and to show you those we're going to use these buttons down at the bottom or I can use the relevant keyboard commands so first of all there's points or vertex um, vertices and we select those with keyboard A so as you can see I'm clicking each of those points there our vertices. Secondly keyboard S are edges and as you can see these are the edges that form on this particular model four sides of that face and the third one is the face which is any of those so they're the three types of components and it, as I've, I've gone through each of the components so there's the vertex and there's the edge you'll see that there's a manipulator in the center which I'll go through on this section here if you look at the bottom I'll cover off the different types of manipulator so with the components you can do a number of things to each type of component so if I hit keyboard D and select a face I can then use the manipulator to do a number of things to that face so if it's, if it's set on let's just go back keyboard W that gives me the ability to move it in any of these axis, axes so as you can see I'm just selecting the X, Y and Z Y vertical, Z in and out of the scene, and X and Y left and right. If we go to keyboard E, you see at the bottom that's this icon down here, that gives us the ability to scale. So if I hit the center, I can and then move left and right with my mouse, holding the left mouse button, that gives me the ability to scale that particular component, scale it on one, two, and then obviously the third one it won't because it's a flat face it wouldn't scale on Y. Okay, and also clicking keyboard R you can see it's gone to the third one here which gives us the ability to rotate on those same axes. So with those and a, and a third one which is the ability to move anywhere at all so what I'm doing there is holding down the control key and as you can see instead of following a single one of the axis I've actually got the ability to move it in any any direction in the given plane that, that's facing you so as you can see it's uh, rotating around the face that I'm actually looking at now if I go to keyboard F and select the whole object all of those manipulators are available to me in object mode so as you'll see you've got move in any of the three okay I can hold down control and just move the object freely like so okay scale scales the whole object up and down scale it on one axis two axis, three axis and lastly rotate now all of those are just being done, all of those moves, rotates, scales etc are all being done freehand using the manipulator. There's a couple of things to add to that and that is this little icon at the bottom which is gives you the ability to use the universal manipulator and that gives you all of the different types of manipulator in one so if you select the end you scale select the center you can rotate and select the arrow and you move so again scale rotate move for each of the different axes okay if you want to do a defined amount of movement within those particular manipulators you can use something called the numerical editor so if we switch the numerical editor on from the editors options menu 
and then we can put in um, a position, a numerical position on X, Y and Z, a rotation value, a scale value, size, um, distance and angle. So if we just do a couple of tests, so rotation, can ro can literally scroll by holding down the left mouse button, which is the same as what, what physically what we were doing on screen, or I can just type in a value, and there I'll put 90. Um, which rotates it on 90 degrees. I can rotate it again another 90. I can scale it by two, get it back down to one, scale it by 0.5, back to one, scale it by five. And as you can see, you can change the physical size. I'm just putting random numbers in here. And then also you can move the component parts. So if I wanted to move the face, I can rotate that by 45 degrees. Doesn't really help me in any way, but gives you the idea that you can. So if we were to select two components, so select two vertices, those two on the edge, and we wanted to move them horizontally, uh, vertically, we would move them in Y like so by moving left and right or we could just define where we want them like so if we want to put them in a particular known space and again size it we could do the same and you could affect it in a, in a given amount like so go back to object mode and delete that object So we'll just close down the numerical editor and I'll just create a few primitives. So I'll have a cube, um, we'll create a sphere. I'm just moving those around using the tools that, uh, that using the commands that I've already described. And we'll use um, a cylinder. Okay, so we're moving around the scene using the basic commands, holding down the Alt, using the left mouse button, which was giving you ability to rotate around the object, which we showed in an earlier video. We can select an individual object, like so. I'm just going around each one. If I wanted to select two objects or more, I would hold down Shift and select the next one and the next one. If you see the manipulator then is moved to the center of the three and if I use the combination of either W which is move, you move them all together, scale, scale them all together, R, rotate them all together. So it's exactly the same as the individual components or the individual objects and that's now working on a number of objects as we described. Okay, just select those two and delete them. The last thing I just want to show you on this particular video, very quickly, is these three little boxes down here, which are how we select the component parts. So I'm going to go to keyboard D, which is face mode, as you can see. I can use these three different types. So the first one, paint style. So if I draw across, I'm and I literally paint, I'll do it again and click off, that selects any of the items, any of the components that I um, drag the mouse across, so almost as if I'm painting which ones I want. Second one is selection, so I'm going to click the left mouse button and drag it across and that selects all of the components. And the third one is lasso, so I'll just draw exactly where I want and that'll select them. And they're the easiest ways to, to select. Now if we just go to keyboard S and just do the same three again, you'll see exactly what I mean. I'm just going to paint individual areas. So that's giving me how to select the edges with paint, paint style. 
selection Oops. selection would be selecting just the ones that I drag across as you can see and then lasso the same we'll just drag across one or two and it selects the ones that we drag across completely so if I dragged across here it would only select the four that are completely lassoed and finally quickly show you exactly the same for points or vertices 